Lisa Mo High School senior, Sydney Drew, had the unique opportunity to meet one of her swimming idols. I guess you could call me sort of like a fangirlish over him. He is a backstroker, that is one of his specialties, and I'm a backstroker, so meant to be. Sydney's been quite a fan for quite a, quite a while. It's kind of hard to focus, because I mean, somebody you've idolized and watched in the Olympics your whole life is just standing right there. And then of course, I'm not going to lie, you know, in terms of being a girl, he's just really nice to look at. So of course she likes Ryan Lucky. <laughs> She met Ryan Lochte for the first time at the Float for Hope campaign at the Lee Summer R7 Aquatic Center. There's a lot of kids who don't know how to swim in this world, and a lot of kids that grow up into adults that don't know how to swim in this world. And it's not something that's safe with our growing interest in um, wanting to go to lakes, wanting to go to pools, just that summer pastime type thing. You know, I just think it's a life skill that everybody should have. So any thing that we do to promote all kids having at least basic safety swimming skills I think is mm -hmm. awesome. Just like Ryan Lochte, Sydney shares the same passion for the pool. How alone you are in the water, it's its all your deal. You're, you can't hear anything. I mean, people are going to be chilling on the side. You can hear little bits and pieces when you breathe, but your head goes in that water and you're completely submerged. There's nothing like that camaraderie of a relay team and and accomplishing a goal together with a group of girls. It's, a, it's basically an adrenaline rush. Um, they say take your mark and you are all tense and ready to go and if you move in the slightest you're disqualified for a false start so you have to hold it there, you have to hold all that energy in and then as soon as that buzzer goes off you can release it all and then just go. With swimming in her blood, she can't wait to dive into the next chapter of her life. I am going to College of St. Mary. It's a little school in Omaha. I'm excited for her that she's going to swim in college. Um, you know, I, I just, I don't think she was done. She didn't feel done. I've already spent so much of my life on it and I've enjoyed it thus far. Why would I stop? With all of the influence of Olympic swimmer Ryan Lochte and Cindy's great career at Lee Summer High School, will she follow in the footsteps of him? There was a time where I wanted to go to the Olympics, um, Rio. When your kid has that dream or tells you that, you know, I think, I think for us, we've always focused on what's, what's the next step towards getting there. It would be great, and I would love to do that. I mean, I'd be around Ryan Lochte again. I'd be around Michael Phelps. I'd be around all those people that influence me. But at the same time, for me, other things in my life are bigger goals. Even though the Olympics was a past dream, the water will always be her home. It's taught me a lot of like lessons in life. It's helped support where I'm going in my life. Oh, I think Sydney is going to cherish swimming memories for the rest of her life. It's going to be something I look back on and remember. Reporting for Tiger Broadcast, this is Parker Gates.